Welcome to Cases of Mistaken Identity. These tutorials are based on real questions asked by my medical and dental students over the last several years. Case 5, Lymphocyte or Monocyte? I'm Dr. Katherine Moore, the Histology Wizard. Learning to distinguish the various types of white blood cells can be challenging. My students sometimes confuse lymphocytes with monocytes. Let's investigate. Lymphocytes and monocytes are both agranulocytes. This means there aren't any specific cytoplasmic granules, color, or nuclear lobation that can really help facilitate the distinction of cells. However, the shape of the nucleus and the nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio, as well as specific features in the cytoplasm, can all be clues to differentiate between these two white blood cells. Let's take a look at the lymphocyte first. Lymphocytes, which give rise to B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, are the second most numerous white blood cell and the most numerous A granulocyte in normal blood. And they're typically the smallest white blood cell. The most obvious characteristic of the lymphocyte is its spherical nucleus with highly condensed chromatin. Lymphocytes are sometimes arbitrarily classified as small, medium, and large, and the small group is the most common. These typically have a nucleus that's roughly the same size as a red blood cell. Lymphocytes usually only have a thin surrounding rim of scant cytoplasm, and this cytoplasm is usually basophilic or blue. The larger lymphocytes, which are fewer, have nuclei that are larger than red blood cells. They have typically more cytoplasm, and sometimes they can even have a few pale blue granules or lysosomes. Importantly though, the nucleus is still spherical, and that allows us to distinguish this cell from monocytes and other white blood cells. Monocytes circulate in blood for several hours, enter tissues, and mature as different kinds of macrophages. Circulating monocytes have large unilobed nuclei, and they are usually distinctly indented or C-shaped. So I always think of a dented kidney bean or a jelly bean type shape. The chromatin is much less condensed in lymphocytes, and so it's going to typically stain lighter or less dark blue than the large lymphocytes we just looked at. The cytoplasm is basophilic, but it's usually a pale bluish, almost purple gray, and it contains many lysosomes, which are usually white, but can sometimes be a very pale blue. Now these lysosomes sometimes get mistaken for granules, but they are usually larger and much whiter. Sometimes they even just look like bubbles. Remember that enzymes in both lysosomes and granules contain enzymes that will allow neutrophils and monocytes both to perform the respiratory burst. Now sometimes people get confused between monocytes and band form neutrophils, but the band form neutrophil is typically thinner and you usually see neutrophilic granules, which are bluer or more purple, and they're smaller than lysosomes. Also remember that monocytes are typically the biggest white blood cells. I hope that you can now appreciate the spherical, darkly basophilic nucleus and the scant cytoplasm of the lymphocyte and the large indented nucleus and pale cytoplasm with lysosomes of the monocyte. I hope these tips will help you solve this case of mistaken identity. Thanks for stopping by.